All right, let me show you here. To make the gouge in the dowel, all I simply did, I mean, in the, in the, in the mallet, all I simply did was take, I'm not sure what size this is. This is probably 3 8 or something like that, in other words piece of dowel and I'm gonna make my mallet out of that now we're gonna take this and we're just gonna kind of move one end a little bit because it's gonna fit in the hand so I wanted to come out probably about that far in other words now a mallet, of course, it goes all the way around like this and then it just has a handle, especially the old-timey mallets, in other words. So we're going to come at that point and we're just going to start bringing that down. This is just a dowel is all it is. As you can see, it's small, but it's, and then what you do is you just start bringing that down from here, and you, you're making your mallet is what you're doing. Now, if you need to, you may have to put a little, like a little band-aid or something on, right there. Uh, keep because you because your your knife is real close to your hand, and you just bring that handle on that little mallet down, just like that. See, and it's going to fit in the in the in the uh, hand like this. See. And that's the mallet. I'll bring it down. Look at that, see? And that's going to fit in that hand, like that. And there is your mallet. See? Kind of brush that up a little bit. See, it's not hard, folks. Just simple as that. And you've made your little mallet. Okay, now we're going to make, out of just a piece of wood, we're going to make our gouge, okay? Now most likely we're going to cut the gouge in half, so, but we're going to make it all one piece to begin with. All right, now what we, what we want is to come about up into this area here. Let me see how much is hanging down about halfway or something and as we know the handle on a, a, a mallet I mean a, a handle on a gouge is thin so from each end or each side we're gonna start bringing almost like the mallet we're gonna start bringing that up in other words we're gonna start cutting back on that
and it's usually a very very thin handle so we want to bring it down quite a bit very thin handle on the mallet I mean on the on the on the gouge I got mallet in my mind I don't know what's wrong with me and of course we want to also we want this to be rounded off a little bit up here in other words kind of like that in other words we want to make it even thinner than that okay so and that will fit sort of at the top of the hand now to make the mallet we want to concave this piece and we want to come on both sides like this first and both sides like this at first just a little bit here comes the truck again coming down the other side of the street now and then we want to take our knife and we want to cut in some V cuts in here like this. I'm sorry. See what I'm doing? Putting some V cuts in here to signify our gouge. Ooh, that, ooh boy, that old garbage truck stinks. <laughs> of course, it's supposed to. I know that. I understand that. And then we come back here and we start sort of bringing this down just a little bit on both sides to make it have that round look to it now we can also take our V tool and or a little um, and we start you can do it with a knife, see? Okay, now this of course will have to come down. I mean it's gonna fit into the hand like this, in other words. And let's, of course, come back here and shape all this back here. But you have the general idea of what this is going to look like, in other words. You're going to have this, and then I'm going to actually put the, I'm going to cut this in half, drill a hole and put this at the top because I don't want to drill all the way through because it's going to be hard fitting through there, in other words, because of the difference between the um, the difference between the the um, the top of the the gouge and the bottom of it, in other words. So it's going to fit very similar to that. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and put the mallet in the hand, put the gouge in the hand, and we'll be back. Okay, okay.